What's up guys, it's Areeps US here, back for some more fun in Proxmox here. What we're going to do now is actually create uh, yet another VM uh, on another example uh, cluster I have here uh, on a Ceph pool. Okay, so let's create this one. Click on create uh, VM. Okay, enter the uh, name I'm calling Areeps Ceph HAVM. Uh, give it the ISO image. Okay, click on next. Okay, you choose the pool for Ceph that you want. Okay, click on next after this. Okay, and choose your CPU settings here, how many cores do you want to give it, how many sockets. Okay, you choose the amount of memory you want to give it, uh, the network if anything is different. Okay, and click on finish to confirm. Okay guys, so at this point though, like we talked about last time, this VM does not have HA, okay? So it doesn't have any high availability. Although it's on shared storage, it could be brought up on another node. We have to click on actually a data center and HA uh, to take us there, okay? Um, so the status is stopped. Uh, we could start it, but anyway, let's do the HA first, okay? Click on HA, click on under resources, click on add, and click the VM name. Okay, and look at these options here. You have max restart, max relocate. Um, so basically it, it shows, um, you know, how many times the VM will restart, uh, how many times it will relocate it, okay? Um, so basically just some settings here to tune it. Sometimes it's not preferable, something's going wrong of it or on, on, on the cluster that it gets relocated several times or that it gets restarted several times. Uh, so just be aware of that. If it keeps failing and failing, uh, actually it will it will not keep kind of uh, starting on its own uh, after the amount of time that are specified there. But anyway, guys, yeah, now it's part of the HA pool. So now that that is part of the pool, you can rest assured that you have proper high availability. One thing you might want to do that I would definitely recommend is you should create more Ceph monitors. Uh, in fact, I would make uh, a bunch of different nodes, not all of them, a Ceph monitor. All, you know, can have uh, a bunch of Ceph monitors uh, and that will avoid issues with Ceph if your only one monitor goes down. Uh, it can interrupt your HA. So that's the only kind of caveat here that uh, you want to look at. Otherwise, guys, um, yeah, if you have a, a large uh, Ceph cluster and a, a big uh, Proxmox cluster, uh, this is a great way to get high performance, high availability. Uh, one more thing to recall as well, uh, remember this as well. So if you have a CD-ROM, which is local storage, attached to the VM, it will not be able to come up again anywhere else, okay? Because uh, if it's uh, a ISO that's attached from a local uh, node, uh, that's impossible. So make sure that you don't have any CD-ROM or anything like that, uh, you know, storage that is uh, local, okay? Um, otherwise, it'll be good to go. Uh, I hope this has been helpful, guys, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.